a voyage along the coast of the Baltic Sea, from Denmark to Mother Russia and back through Scandinavia, with many stops, including one in Latvia. At the mouth of the river Daugava, Riga is Latvia's capital and largest city, and home to a people who love to share their stories of daily life. It's hot. Donuts. Well, donuts. it looks like donuts to an American. If you traveled here, you might meet people like Eriks Drebans, a chef who has served all of Latvia's prime ministers, as well as heads of other states. I love my country. I really love it. You could hear the stories <laughs> of Liga Kina, a seller of traditional Latvian rye bread and cheese, and a grandmother who windsurfs. I've been living here all my life or learn about Latvia's international heritage by meeting Carlos Bukowskis. Well, Riga is the biggest city in, uh, in the Baltic states. Actually, it's the biggest city all around the Baltic Sea in general. We started off from being part of the totalitarian uh, communist uh, planned economic system, and uh, now we are a fully democratic uh, European Union and NATO member state. I learned to appreciate the changes, appreciate the freedom, the possibilities to travel. Latvians, along with their Baltic neighbors, led a bloodless singing revolution in the late 1980s to reclaim their language, their culture, and their independence from decades of Soviet occupation. Well, the Freedom Monument was established uh, quite a long time already, almost a century ago, and it has been uh, one of the symbols of independence, and as it's written on it, it's for independence for and, 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 and the fatherland. So in this case, it's a very important symbol for, for Latvians. Um, Es esmu Eriks Drebans, tad es pavā restorānu viens no līdzīpašniekiem. Nu, kā jau minē, es esmu līdzinieks par pavāris kļuvu armijā. Nu jā, un tad tā kā mēs apvienojāmies pavāri, tad sapratām, ka šim restorānam jābūt kā pavāru templim kā pavāru altāram, un tāpēc virtu aizņem pat restorānu lielāko daļu, jo tas ir pavāru altārs, kur viesi nāk un satiek katru dienu pavāru, jā. Kur kļūv par šepavāru, tiem kā šepavārs esmu gatavojis ļoti daudziem prezidentiem, arī bušam ir gatavot, gājiens uz tirgu, pirkt produktus, Arī ejam, jā, jo piemēram tādas kā nēģus vai zandartus vai kādus citus sezonālus produktus, nekur citu tu nevar dabūt kā tikai tirgu. Located in converted German Zeppelin hangars from the 1930s, the pavilion of the Riga Central Market encompasses more than three-quarter of a million square feet of space, making this the largest market in Europe. The market has always been a central place uh, for the city as it is on the crossroads between large countries and definitely trade of spices, of all kinds of goods has always been bringing money. And we have many <coughs> different, different uh, pavilions. Uh, one of them is for uh, fish, one of them is for milk and cheese, one of them is uh, only for meat. One of them is uh, for bakery, nuts and, uh, and honey. And uh, you are staying here where are selling um, vegetables. And I'm selling our Latvian a good organic bread. The bread is, uh, is just is make, making uh, with hands and it's baked in a wooden oven 
And the receipts are uh, kept from our grannies as it was baked, say, 100 years before. I'm uh, very proud of the fact that I'm granny. I have a, a family, I have a daughter and granddaughter. And uh, in my personal life, I'm uh, an active person. Uh, I'm going in winter, I'm going for skiing. I'm, I like windsurfing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is like a chocolate cake. Oh, it's wonderful. Mm. This is a wonderful market. Lots of fun. Lots I, of fun. This is a very good market. It's 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 and a historically important trade port with striking early 20th century buildings. Take the opportunity to get to know the place and the people of Riga. The cheese was perfect. It was creamy. It was like a Haverty. I'm proud as uh, I'm Latvian and I'm proud of it. Encounters that are impossible to forget.